What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Macho Movie Madness. Oh, yeah. I'm Brandon. Alongside me always is Andrew. Today, uh, we don't do many of these, Andrew, but we're going to do a reaction video today. Oh, yeah. So it's been a big week for uh, movie trailers and teasers, uh, at least in our world. Uh, we love The Crow. Mm -hmm. um, the new Crow trailer just dropped, so we're going to watch that and react to that. Um, the Alien the new alien movie tra uh, teaser drop. And so did Beetlejuice too. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Um, we decided though, that on aliens and uh, on alien and Beetlejuice, we're going to wait for the full trailers to react to those. Um, but we are going to react to the trailer of the crow. They released that yes. that's coming out uh, this year, I believe. Yes. Bill, Bill Skarsgård. Uh, it says summer in the trailer. I, I've actually seen this trailer a couple of times. Got a few notes. Brandon's not seen this trailer yet. Yeah, this will be my this will be my official react, authentic reaction. Yeah. Authentic reaction to this. So we're gonna go ahead and watch it real quick, just not waste any time, and then we're gonna get into talking about it right after. So probably uninterrupted. We're just gonna watch the trailer and then we'll get into uh, our thoughts. So let's do that real quick. Here we go. What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliantly broken. You feel like my person. You feel like my person. You feel like my person. What's the worst thing? My person. I saw things. I shouldn't have seen any of it. When someone dies, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. But sometimes something so bad happens that the soul cannot rest. Until you put the wrong things right. You were given the power of a god. But you're running out of time to save her. I'm gonna kill them. Every single one of them. <laughs> Does he always talk with an accent? Or... I killed you. Yeah, you did. We have a problem. He came for us. He's a bad guy and everything. Danny, you used to the pulse. Yes. Bad girl. He's good. He's good, though. Yeah. It's not anger. It's love. What you become. You know that love promises only pain. You have no idea what hell awaits you. No, I do. How many people have you loved? I'll never be alone. First things first. I'm working on the. So so first things first. Um, one one thing about the original Crow and and a lot of the sequels was the music in those. Mm -hmm. You got to get rid of that auto tune stuff, man. I know that's current and of the time, yeah. but that just takes me out of out of this. I I like the Aussie song, right? But yeah, the which that that was uh, was that his and Post Malone song. Uh, probably um, I, I think it's so i like <clears throat> I, I like it okay but yeah i i don't think i wish it would have went something another direction with that um 
so the death of him and his wife are is different yeah and Uh, and that's one of the things when i was talking to you guys last night anytime i see somebody use a plastic bag to kill somebody just rip the freaking bag yeah i I, I mean they're gonna kill you anyway but still to me that's one of the lamest deaths Um, i i didn't like that uh yeah, this looks like there's a purpose for her death in this. Yeah, yeah, she uh, saw something she shouldn't have it's saw. Not, it's yeah, it's not it's not just a, a random shitbag robber situation, um, which I think is more shocking. Uh, this still sucks, but it's that was way more shocking in the original. Yeah, you know he he looks he looks like he donned some sort of paint on him, but in very little. He already looks like Jared Leto's Joker from the beginning, apparently. Um, I don't like the accent. No, uh, and, and in a couple of those you know, scenes, it doesn't have an accent. That's what threw no. me. That's yeah. why I asked where was it? Does he have an accent? In yeah, yeah, he did in that in that one scene. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I'm an aesthetics guy, and I think action wise, it looks like it's going to be pretty good. Yeah, it reminds me, cinematography wise and action wise. And of course, it's a product of his time. It reminds me of John Wick a lot. A little bit, a little bit, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't necessarily think it's going to be bad. Just first impression, it's probably not going to be bad, but it's not what I wanted. No. Um, it doesn't have, it doesn't have that otherworldly gothic presence that I was hoping for, and I know. It's 2024, um, and a time of goth and grunge or is dead. Uh, but I feel like that's what made the crow so special, other than Brandon Lee. Yeah, and I don't have a problem with Bill Skarsgård. In fact, I've I seen, think he's a great actor. I I love Bill Skarsgård. He was amazing as Pennywise. Did you watch those? Um, uh, I've, it, I've seen clips. I've not really watched the It movies. No, you should. You should. Um, he's great. Uh, I think there was some fan, like promotional fan art with him as the crow when they first announced it. And they done him up in the old Brandon Lee look, like the, the white face paint and all that. And, you know, the lines kind of like Steam. Yeah. Dude, it looked good. I was like, oh, this is exciting. Um, I mean, obviously, fan art's way better than what they actually end up doing most of the time anyway. But yeah, this is not, that's not what I was expecting. And no. I don't, I can't say that I love it, guys. I don't, um, I, I'm not saying it's going to be a bad movie, but I'm just not feeling it. No. And, and we were talking about like this a couple years things. ago, right? Like when, when we first heard of this, when they were filming in Prague. Yeah. And I, I remember telling you, man, I can't wait to see it because Prague's probably got that old world Gothic feel to it. And this has right. none of that. No, I'm not seeing any of it. Yeah. I don't. So I, I, as far as expectations, I think it's letting me down. And I think, honestly, here. Oh, he's taking the glasses <laughs> off. So I, I really think you're, half the fan base is going to be pissed off about this anyway because right. of the memory of Brandon Lee. You know, we've just done a lot of Brandon Lee stuff. But yeah. I think half of your potential viewing audience, the kids from the 90s, are going to be put off. When yeah, see I'm scene. put off. Yeah. Um, I, and, I, and I think – you don't see, you know, they're doing their own thing, but it feels like this, just the trailers missing the heart has the potential to miss the heart that the first movie had where you had that little girl and she has those talks, you know, with Brandon, um, yeah. you know, it can't rain all the time and you never said goodbye. And he's like, uh, what, what does he tell her in the movie? Um, you're going to have to forgive me for that because <laughs> yeah. on this vengeance yeah. tour yeah. and he, he can't take the time to be remorseful. It, it feels right. like, this is missing that. And, and when I told you guys last night, I was kind of upset about this trailer. That is, is what it was. You, you know, Ernie Hudson brought a lot of heart to that movie. Um, mm-hmm. I don't see any of those like side characters in this. This just looks no. straight up like kind of like the second Crow movie where, well, he still had Sarah in the second Crow movie, but like where it's just mm-hmm. one man's revenge. And I, I think they're kind of missing the point. Yeah, I think so too. I think, they're you, you i think you nailed it i think they've i mean and we haven't seen the movie yet but i think that's just aesthetically and that and just in what what it's kind of showing in the trailer what it's about yeah it's vengeance 
yeah, it's true love, but I don't think you're fully there yet. You can you could say you could say that, but it, but that you don't feel that. No, um, I don't get that feeling at all. Um, and he just doesn't have and, and like overall, it just doesn't look as cool. It doesn't look as as dark as it should. And even under all that darkness, like you said, there should still still be something else that is pulling him back in. Right. Yeah, and even I, even John Wick, the movie that I feel like this is kind of aping, yeah. had that with with the dog and the wife and everything. Yeah. Um, I I don't know. I'm I'm going to go into it. I'm going to try to go into it with an open mind. But yeah, I, yeah. I, we'll, I mean, we'll watch it and we'll review it for sure. Yeah. Uh, we we're going to have to now. But overall, my first impression is not the best. Yeah. Um, I just I will wait and see what it is. But yeah, I I don't know. Guys, let us know what you think um did you have anything else to say no i i I think that's about it that's that's kind of like all the all the mental notes i took when i watched this last night and the glasses came off i i I feel better now (laughs) yeah yeah well uh let us know in the comments guys what you think about this about this trailer because oh man i'm just not so sure uh really um, it's, I don't think it's, and I know that the crow sequels, uh, got progressively worse and worse and, um, they're, but they know, still they, had their own, their own feel. Like. They did. They, they did. And this, like you said, this just didn't have that. This was like Jared Leto's Joker meets John Wick. And it was weird, man. Uh, I don't know. But yeah. Let us know in the comments what you guys think. If you're looking forward to it, um, if you're disappointed or not, um, be sure to like, and subscribe and, you know, be prepared because we're gonna we're gonna watch this movie eventually and we're gonna review it um so yeah um and, and we're also going to like i said earlier we're gonna we're gonna react to beetlejuice beetlejuice and the new alien movie trailers when they seen, fully drop i've not seen the beetlejuice trailer yet but we both kind of watched the the alien teaser and yeah. i'm not one to get excited for any alien movie after the second one but dude that that didn't look too bad the teaser, the teasers got me, got me hyped. So yeah. we'll, we'll wait and see what the trailer, the full trailer looks like, but we'll react to those when they come out. So, all right, that's going to do it for us guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you down the line.